My name's Frank, and I've been asked to speak a little bit about uh, giving. Giving is one of those things I've always struggled with in my early Christian days. Uh, I don't like to part with money, and uh, I guess that's why you get the nickname El Cheapo. But even though I didn't like to give away the money, I've always felt blessed by God. Um, I've had a good family, good friends, a good job, and I always felt that he was in my life. But I, like I say, I still had a tough time giving up my money. 2002, my marriage fell apart. And uh, when you go through a divorce, you're at a stage in your life when you've got major court costs, legal fees, and splitting family assets and stuff like that. It takes a huge toll on you financially, not just on the family. But I started giving God to God on a regular basis, and I really believed that He would look after me. While I was going through all that stuff with my marriage, uh, I had some damage to my house and caused $11,000 damage. And I got to be honest with you, I didn't have it in my piggy bank, and uh, the insurance company. They were 50-50 whether they're gonna pay any and how much was you know still in question. Eh? So it was really it was a real tough time for me. But after a few weeks in the review, the insurance company decided that what they would pay the whole shot. So it was kind of just a huge, huge burden off me. And I always believe that God will multiply our giving. Our choice is to make it uh, consistent so He can work with it. I've always taken it that God is gonna bless me. But in 2004, if you guys remember Boxing Day, there was a tsunami that hit uh, 14 countries in the Indian Oceans and over 230,000 people lost their lives. And out of those countries, all these, there was many, many villages on the coast that relied on fishing and these places were absolutely devastated and they lost everything, including their, their boats, which was uh, the way they made their money. Um, there was a church in Nelson called Kootenai Christian Fellowship and our own Dan Pori was a member of that and they were doing a fundraiser and they were outreaching to these communities that, and they're hoping to raise money to buy some of these villages boats so that people could go out, fish, earn a living, put some food on the table, and support their families like they once did. So I decided to buck up. I sent my money away so someone could have a boat. And for 200 bucks, what's that, maybe one, two weeks worth of groceries, I figured it was no big deal. So that was in 2004. Then last year, in the summer when we were at Parkland School, Dan Pori was up front talking. And something just hit home for me like never before. I thought about it, here it was almost 10 years later, that same 200 bucks that I used to buy that boat, God had multiplied it so much that if that man still had that boat that summer, he's put a meal on his family table for almost nine years. So that 200 bucks bought nine years worth of groceries, and you can't even buy two weeks worth of groceries here with 200 bucks. So I really do believe uh, in Malachi when God says that he'll meet, not only meet our needs, but he'll multiply our regular giving. And I got to see it for someone else, not just for me. But I've always, in all my troubles, whether it was my divorce or any kind of financial situation or hardship I had in my life, God has always met my needs and I've always felt very blessed by Him. And I urge you guys to regularly give. God will bless it. And in the meantime, I can be honestly say that God looks after you. You might not win the lotto for Jesus, but I guarantee you, God will watch your steps.